Hello everyone. Microsoft has recently announced IP address management feature in Azure Virtual Network Manager. For now, this feature is in public preview. So first thing that comes to mind is, what is IPAM? So IPAM is an IP address management feature that helps in the centralized management of the IP addresses. So the automatic allocation of IP address as, as well as the issue of overlapping IP address can be resolved using this. So why should you use IPAM? The first point is the centralized IP management. From the virtual network manager, you can assign the IP addresses or the CIDR ranges to different virtual networks. Another one is the automatic CIDR allocation. So you just have to choose the subnet mask and automatically you will be provided the CIDR range from the IP pool. It prevents the overlapping addresses because if everything is being managed centrally, it will not let you create the virtual network where there is an overlapping IP address. Then there is a hierarchical pool structure, which means now in a central location, you can manage different hierarchies. Like if you have allocated one CIDR range, then you can distribute it among different subscriptions as well as on-prem. And all these details will be shown into your virtual network manager. You can also delegate the access control. So using the RBAC, you can assign any user who can view the IPAM and then takes control of what IP addresses should be allocated and what's left. And finally, you can monitor the IP usage. Till now, you have to go to virtual network to see how many IP addresses have been allocated and how many are left. But now using this feature, you can monitor the IP usage from a central location for all the different subscriptions as well as the virtual network. Till now, these were the good things about IPAM. So what are the limitations? First biggest limitation is it's in public preview. So you can't use it in production. Second one, sometimes there is a synchronization issue. When two virtual networks are peered, in that case, sometimes there is inconsistency in the current usage of IP address. And the last one is inconsistent IP pool references when moving network. In case you're moving your virtual network from one resource group to another, in that case also there are sometimes inconsistencies seen. But this is in public preview and these are known limitations. So Microsoft will resolve them soon. So that's all the theory about IPAM. Now I'll log into Azure portal and show you the step-by-step -step implementation on how you can use it in your environment. I'm logged into Azure portal now and I have already created one virtual network manager. If you look for virtual network manager, you can create a network manager or I have already created a network manager vnet manager 01 let's go here and there you can see ip address management which is in preview so if we'll go to ip address pool there is nothing right now so let's create a new ip address pool create so i'll name this as shell in the organization cidr same display name, Australia East. Next, I'll provide the CIDR range, which will be 10.0.0.0.16. So that means this IP address range is for my whole organization, whether it's on-prem, Azure, as well as the different subscription in Azure. I'm not providing any tags, review and create. Validation is in progress and create. Deployment is complete now. Let's go to resource. And this is the IP address pool which is created. So now in the settings, if we'll go to allocations, there are no allocations right now. Let's create it very systematically the way it should be deployed in production. So now this is the total allocation. Child pools are the different pools which you have created under this specified pool address. Resources, what are the different resources which are created? These will be Azure resources and static CIDR will be if you are using a different cloud or if you are using on-prem network. So let's start with the on-prem network. Create static CIDRs. 
this will be on prem i'm going to use the starting address as 10.0.208.0 and size will be 20 so that means 4000 ip addresses so this range is already allocated to on prem which we are blocking now so allocate so it has successfully allocated refresh and on prem is created now let's create two more allocate static cidr this will be for aws so another starting address 10.0.192.0 and this will be 23 so 512 IP addresses are assigned to AWS. It's allocated now. So it will show under static CIDR. And the third one, allocate static CIDR. This will be on prem secondary site. And here I am deploying 10.0.236.0 slash 22. So 1000 IP addresses. The reason for creating static CIDR is that we have already allocated these IP address to on-prem and these are static should not be changed. And now virtual network manager will be aware that do not assign the IP addresses or the CIDR, which comes under these different ranges. So this is static CIDR allocation, which is done. Now let's create the child pools. I'll create three different child pool. First one is the management pool, management sub, subscription. Next, I'll allocate this IP address 10.0.252.0 and slash 22. So this is the management IP address. So this is the management subscription. All the virtual network which I'm going to create will be in this management subscription. And this is the current subscription I'm talking about. Next, review and create and create. So now let's go back to virtual network manager. Create another. Go to the pool first. Allocations. And now you will see the child pool also. So create two more child pool. One is for development. Another is for production. Create child pool. Dev sub. Next. And I'm assigning 10.0.224.0 slash 22. So 1000 IP addresses for this subscription. Review and create and create. Now again, Let's go back to virtual network manager, our manager, IP address pool, again allocations and create another child pool. And the last one is prod, prod subscription. And this time starting address will be 10.0.248.0 and it will be 22. Review and create. And create. So let's go back to virtual network manager again, network manager, IP address pool. And now you can see there are three child pools, three static CIDR. And the reason why I'm created child pool is so that you can better manage your resources. So these allocations are done. Now you can see the allocated IP addresses like these ranges are already allocated whether in the form of child resources or static CIDR, but these are allocated and what are available. So if you want to create more child pools, you can create using this or static CIDR. These are the CIDR ranges which are still available. So now I want to allocate to the existing one. So I'm in the management subscription, which I'm considering this subscription as the management subscription. So if I'll go to allocations, you can, you can again assign static CIDR and child pools here too, but I don't want to do that. I'll just associate resources. So now I have two virtual networks here. Uh, both are in slash 24 range. 
so I'll choose both and associate. I think it can associate one at a time. Let's try again. This one was done, 002. Let's associate with the resource again, 001. Hopefully there is no overlap. Let's associate. And it's done. I think because it's in preview, if you allocate two together, it just fails. Okay, now two IP addresses are allocated. Now if we'll go to this pool, so that means 50% of the IP allocation is done. 512 IP addresses are already in use. So that means these, these IP addresses are allocated to di two different resources. Now if you want to create more resources, you can use this child pool and allocated IP address is this range and the available is slash 23 is available. However, you can create two different slash 24. Now if we'll go back to our IP address pool management and allocations, and if you want to allocate the resources directly, you can do it. But for the better management of the hierarchy, this is what is recommended. For each subscription, create your own pool so that you know how much is assigned to this subscription. And now because you have around 87% of the IP addresses still left, so you can use these for creation of the different child pools or the static CIDR. So now I want to show you automatic allocation of IP address. Let's create a new virtual network. I'll just quickly copy the name. I'll use RG scaling resource group and 003 next I'm not changing anything in the security next and now you will see there is an option of assigning using allocate using IP address pool so till now what we used to do is now we have to remember all the IP addresses sometimes there is a CIDR range which is already allocated in on-prem and the user wasn't aware about those CIDR which are already in use and that's the reason overlapping CIDRs are created. But in this case, now you can just click on allocate using IP address pool. Select an IP address pool. So because this is management subscription, so I'll select this one. I'll try again. Let's remove this. Okay, for some reason, Let's delete this, create it again. And using IP address pool, select management subscription. Let's try another one, the short one, fraud subscription. Looks like we have encountered the bug here because before creation of this video, I tested this in the lab and it was working fine. Now it's just throwing error, whichever pool I choose. So if I'll choose the parent pool and still the same error. So however, when I tried it, I selected the pool and then it asked for the option. There was a drop down, which net mask do you want to select? So if you'll just select 24, automatically the CIDR available for the slash 24 will be assigned. So that was the automatic IP allocation, which is not working now. Uh, and this is the reason it's in public preview. Hopefully soon the Microsoft will fix this issue. And one last thing which I want to show is if I'll go to virtual network manager and go to the pool. So now we can assign the role to the different users so that they can check this IP address pool. And if I'll go to IAM add role assignment. So there are two different roles which are required. First one is IPAM user pool. And another one is the read level access at the subscription level. So if you'll go to subscription, you have to provide the read level access here. And the reason is so that if there are any virtual networks which are created, the user should have access to view those virtual networks. So if we'll go to the role assignments, find the reader and assign it. 
so to view all the hierarchical resources in i in ip pool allocation you need to have read access as well as ipm pool user and once this is done another user will be able to log in and manage the ip allocations from there so that's all i wanted to show in this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much